Okay, what are we playing today? I don't know what it- well, actually, I do know what it is. But it's time for another installment in the Layton, uh, or Professor Layton series. Um, today we're gonna be playing a game called... M Moby Clip? No, here it is. Oh, what the sound- uh, it sounded kind of weird there for a second. But yeah, we're gonna be playing uh, the third Professor Layton game, The Unwound Future. Uh, we played the first two games. I've played the first one on my own. On your own, and then um, played the second one. Then, yeah, you and I played uh, Diabolical Box together, and we had a lot of fun with it. So, um, yeah, let's check out the third game, and uh, hopefully it's just as good, if not better. Because last time I felt like the second one was even better than the first. Well, yeah, they were both they were both good in their own ways. Yeah. The se mm. second one was pretty intense. Near the end, the especially, end. yeah. Yeah, the end is what made I thought we end. were going to get killed. Yeah, Eaten. freaking Anton. Oh, here he comes with the big sword. Um, but uh, this one I know a little bit about, not a whole lot, but uh, hopefully, uh, you know, it turns out to be pretty good. Um, Enter your name. What What should we call our file? Last time it was what? Was it Houndy? I don't remember. I think. Can't recall. Can we call ourselves Leighton? Uh, I guess we could, yeah. Um, Leighton or... Um, or do you have something else? Hmm. I don't know. What well, is the unwound future? Oh, so should we have think, to like, do with time? Something with the future? Um, uh, yeah, I don't know. We could just go with whatever. Um, you could do your name backwards. <laughs> I could do my name backwards, yeah. Um, yeah, sure, let's do that, I guess. Uh, here we go. Boom, boom, boom. Let's go. Although this will only be needed for, like, the first Yeah, it's not thing. really. Like, it never really comes up again. Unless maybe this time it's different. I don't know. Big Bim! The mm -hmm. final chime. Mm -hmm. Well, animation looks pretty good so far. Oh! Bunch of city goers. This is a double decker bus. So, are we gonna time travel in this game? That'd be pretty cool. I know virtually nothing about the plot of this game. Then again, I didn't know much about the plot of the last one either. So, we're on a bus. Yep. It just doesn't seem to add up, Professor. I honestly thought you were pulling my leg. Pulling my leg. What? I want to swing on it. Oh, we got a note. Is it from us? Let's see. The future us? Yeah. Professor, I hope this letter Whoa. finds you well. As for me... Who's this guy? I am in quite a predicament. Okay. You see, the London we know and love has been thrown into absolute chaos. Is this a message from the future? To complicate matters, the calamity I speak of does not take place in your time. Where did we get this from? Well, this to me, this looks believe, like uh, an older look, maybe. To you yeah. From ten years, ten years in, in the future. future. Okay, which would be 2020, I guess, when this game came out. So we're almost there, actually. I know yeah. this is a lot to take in, but I'll explain it all soon. Interesting. For now. I ask that you head to the clock shop. Is the first puzzle going to be we got to find the clock shop? I bet you it will be. I look forward oh, yeah. to seeing you again. Yeah. You got to pick the Your path. Student, or Luke oh, Clark. see, it there is, it is. From the future. So it's future, yeah. ten years. How did he try time travel? Strange as it sounds, it seems that the author of this letter is none other than your future self, Luke. I need to know where this letter came from. From my future self. But how is that even possible? Well, Leighton already knows, I bet. <laughs> oh, he's got the whole explanation figured out. Yeah. Oh, he Nothing says he doesn't know. If this letter is indeed authentic... Yeah, like, where did it come from, if it got from the future? Um, by time-traveling postman? <laughs> Just joking, okay? Yeah, hey, that could be a thing. It's weird also, because uh, in between Leighton's 2 and 3, Troy and I have played a lot of the Nancy Drew games. Mm -hmm. and oh, yeah, we just did one. Yeah, we just finished Secret of the Old Clock. And the main character, Nancy Drew, is voiced by Lanny Manella, who also voices Luke Triton. It's so fitting, right? I can hear a little bit of the voice in there. It's kind but of... on a more serious note, I think this mystery might be the oddest one we've ever encountered. Well, the last one was pretty crazy, too. Indeed. Yeah, it was. And even in the future... You seem to need my help in so Oh, um, even in the future, I'm so smart. <laughs> what are you saying? Quite a comfort in these uncertain times, my boy. He's rubbing it in. Yeah, I'm uh, the smartest well, professor thank ever. You, I apparently. suppose. But back to the main question. How do we know the letter is real? How do we know it's not a forgery? Could be. Hmm. Well, we haven't much to go on yet. Hmm. But I can't help but think that this strange occurrence oh. is connected to the oh, terrible wait. events. Of what last events week. are those? People get a flashback. Mm. Mm. 
maybe. Oh, oh, it's just like the previous okay. game. We have this segment. Lots of those look like people. This yeah. is Luke, I think. That maybe might be the Luke. Future. future Luke. This is some bigger guy, really slender. That one looks this like is a, probably a location, a like place. A city. Yeah, this guy has got like what a Mysterious Western hat. Stuff? Maybe, yeah, or a detective hat. Detective hat? It's kind of hard to tell because it's cut off. This could be a woman. That looks like a female character, yeah. These two Can't look similar. Guaranteed. The bottom two. Yeah. Yeah. Well, let's take a look okay. at this. Uh, Professor Layton's received a letter from the unlikeliest of places, the future. The author claims to be Luke writing from ten years in the future, but how is that possible? I don't know. we got to find out. You Part of the mystery. About a week ago. A week ago. Using a six-dimension alpha distributor, oh? was able to guide concentrated streams. Who's this person? A wormhole. A wormhole. <gasps> a stream of That's the guy with that hair. Oh, okay. It's not. It's not a girl. A Armed with this information, the next step was to artificially. So is this guy behind time travel? Generate a massive magnetic field a coil. Once the magnetic field is firmly established, one has the ability. Oh. Oh, oh, this guy. Oh. Well, maybe he's, oh. he's suspicious. Mm -hmm. They're skeptical, maybe. Skeptical? Oh, he could be. Oh, oh no. there he is. And there's the little guy, uh, Barton. Barton? I don't trust him at all. He's just going to get in our way. Oh. <laughs> like the uh, spread we have here, Inspector. That's his voice? Oh, okay. So they give him voices. I never heard his voice before. Though, it does make me wonder what we did to deserve invitations to such a feast. Okay. It's obvious, Barton. Like, his voice Born is the same. influential man in the world of law uh, So influential. It's only natural. I'm, I'm an officer of the law. An event such as this. He thinks he deserves uh, a... Yeah. I suppose that's... Entitlement. Possible, possible you say. Um... <laughs> probable. Uh, probable. Highly probable, sir. All right, then. Uh -huh. oh. oh, well, we're going investigating right off the bat. We can investigate? So I can see at the top it says solved, and it has three digits this time as opposed to two. So I'm wondering if that means there's going to be a lot more puzzles in this one. But uh, okay. I guess we'll see. Well, we didn't have to do all of them last time. That's true, yeah. So we'll see how many are mandatory. It's usually around 70 or 80. Yeah. Well, I mean, yeah, that's close to 100. Big clock. Uh, well, we how probably about, have to talk to Kelman. How about this... this that guy. Oh, we can talk to him. Oh, this food is simply dreadful. Dreadful. But do get this over with quickly Bill. so we can leave. That's his name? Oh, yes. Bill Hawks. Yeah. I have to say, I feel hmm. a bit... There's a lot more voice acting in this one than there was in the previous ones, and that's cool. Huh? That's quite understandable, Luke. I'm sure most people would feel the same way in the presence of the Prime Minister. Oh, is he the Prime Minister? Hey, Luke, oh, I think I see Inspector Chelmy over there. Hmm. So, Professor, what do you think about this whole event? Do you believe that someone has really built a working time machine? Uh, I'd love if that was the case, but I don't know. I'm not entirely sure. Still, if it proves to be true... Yeah, you if you had a time machine, you could do literally anything. Well, uh, having a time machine could be a really bad thing. Well, yeah, if you, like, screw up time... Yeah, um, like an alter the future. If someone else steals it from you, you'd be yeah. a big target. Anything That's what happens in uh, Back to the Future. Oh, well, there we go. The villain, like, gets the time machine and he, like, rewrites history so, like, he's the best person ever. Right. He's, like, super rich and everything. Something about this entire presentation seems a bit off. Uh oh. Why do you say that? Ah, of course. That must be your famous. Uh -huh. The I know everything huh? skill. That's one way of putting it. But enough speculation. Look over there, Luke. Okay. That guard? Oh, oh the suspicious that? guard. He seems to be looking for a man who snuck into the event uninvited. Oh, a saboteur, perhaps? Oh, so we have an intruder in our midst. Okay. So we have to find the intruder? Well... I don't see anybody like, aside from... Assuming it's not them. What about these bushes or something? We might have to talk to the guy. About okay. It. And then do a puzzle. Oh, yeah, it, well, it is a puzzle because it was an exclamation point. Oh, dear, this is not going to go over well. You look troubled, sir. Might we be of any assistance? Oh, yes, please. You see, I've just received a report of some un untoward behavior. I've never heard that word. 
Whoa, that's a neat new uh, party crasher. Song. I like that. So 10 out of 10? All right, probably easy then. New song? There's an uninvited guest at the event, but the guard has received a few clues as to his whereabouts. Oh, it sounds a lot... Like the, the theme? The puzzle theme? It sounds a lot darker in this one. His table is next to one with a red flower. His tablecloth is a different color than any next to it. And his table is not decorated with a yellow flower. So it's not a yellow one. And a yellow right. flower? A yellow flower. Okay, so it can't be this one, right? His is next to one with a red flower. Next to... Is it to the one with no flower on it? But it, would this be considered, like, it's not necessarily next to. They're connected. It also states that his tablecloth is a different color than any other one next to it. Well, if we consider these two connected... Then that wouldn't be true. Then it wouldn't work. I mean, this one doesn't have a tablecloth. It could be this one, maybe? Does it have a flower? It has it a is red next flower. to one. They are... Well, I don't know what it means by next to. Yeah, I'm not sure either. Because, well, his table is next to one with a red flower. That would be true because it is close to this mm -hmm. one. Um, his tablecloth is a different color than any next to it. There's no tablecloth. That's true. Oh, that, that. actually, it is connected oh, to that one. Okay, good observation, yeah. Okay, a different color... Well, that alone should be suspicious, I would think, because a lot of them are the same. Um, the ones that are next to each other? This one, maybe? It doesn't It could have... be this one? Yeah. Oh, I'll put the guard... <laughs> oh! There he is. I think it's this one, because... Um, he has, it's next to one with a red flower, that's uh -huh. true. His tablecloth is a different color. Different than anything around it. Yep. And it's not decorated with a yellow flower. Mm -hmm. So this should be the, Looks good the then, solution, yeah. I think. Let's see. Here's my answer. Boom. Correct. Oh. I knew it. Yeah, okay, first nice. puzzle's usually not too hard, so. You found the party crasher. Time to let the guard do his job. Oh no. Splendid work, my boy. Party Crasher is now in the puzzle index, okay. Picarats, yeah, yeah, yeah. the things that we never use, yeah. are the puzzle's difficulty. The number of Picarats you earn, so think carefully, yeah. When you've beaten the game and saved, go to the bonuses section and load. From there, you can enter the top secret area where you a number of fun extras are waiting for you. The more Picarats you earn, the more oh. content you unlock. Okay, that's what it does. So when we beat the game, I guess we'll have to we'll take, take a quick back, yeah. yeah. Thanks so much for your help. The fellow's mooching days are over. Did you see that, Professor? I just aided in the apprehension of a suspect. Oh, look, the presentation's about to begin. Let's get back to our seats. Mm -hmm. I'm surprised the suspect wasn't a bigger character, but... Oh, yeah, is this the presenter guy? Ladies and Ladies gentlemen, gentlemen, thank you for taking part presenter. in an event that will undoubtedly go down in scientific history. Yeah, this is going down in history. history. I'm here to demonstrate mankind's Dr. Alan machine. Or Alain. Is it creator, Dr. Stun Gun. Stun Gun. St he sounds like Stun Gun, his last name. He looks really pale. Thank yeah. you. But my esteemed colleague. Is he going to be the villain? He looks kind of like. After years of research in the field of time travel, I am pleased to share the fruits of my labor. His voice sounds vaguely familiar too. I want to look up his actor. In just a few short moments, I will be moving on to our scheduled demonstration. Of course he does. Yeah. But first. I'm delighted to announce that Prime Minister Bill Hawks. Yeah, he is the Prime Minister. Yeah, today. Bill Hawks. As such, I have reserved a very special seat. Oh, is he going to go on the oh, no. Yeah. Please, join me on stage. Oh, yeah, he's going to go inside. No need to be is this the bad event, like the Prime Minister went missing or whatever? That's probably what it is. Oh, here he comes. Is this thing real? What do you mean? What is his voice? It's really, I mean, like, is familiar. Is this a genuine working time machine? That'd be freaking awesome. Why don't you have a seat? Uh -huh. See for yourself. Yeah. Before we start, would you honor us with a few words? So does the Prime Minister, Prime Minister, like, has he had no preparation for this whatsoever? Like, doesn't seem like it. Anyone suspicious? Oh, that guy on the left looks kind of suspicious. Good afternoon, everyone. Today is a monumental day, not only for our great nation, but for the entire, oh, the entire human, race. human race. Since the beginning of time, we Wait, but it isn't have strived to yeah. transcend our natural He's building it up. Mm -hmm. 
We have conquered the skies and the seas, yep. and mm -hmm. we have even traveled to outer space. We made to the moon. But the one frontier that has always eluded us is time. Yeah. Indeed. Traveling through time. I don't know what I would do if I had a time machine. Many port was out of reach for humanity. Like what time period I would go to? Ladies well, I don't know if I care about any other time period. Join me It'd be interesting to see what the future's the like. Maybe the future. I, yeah, I guess when I was thinking of like the past, I wouldn't mm -hmm. want to go to like a time when Hitler was around. Uh, yeah. Where the uh, dinosaurs. Oh, because you die immediately. Hey, All of those, yeah, they're just... Prime Minister. Or if it's like you go back in time to like... Yeah, just everything would be worse, I would think. Or at least technically. Pretty much, yeah. yeah. Take it away, yeah. Dr. Stangan! The Dr. Stangan! Stun gun. Okay, that's yeah, what we'll call Just one more request mm. before oh. we start. Uh oh. I very much appreciate the Prime Minister's assistance in this demonstration. Okay. What do you say, Mr. Hawks? What? What? Yeah, he was not I expecting this whatsoever. You. There's no cause for concern. I totally want to find out what his actor but is. I was under the impression that I was After, after this early. episode, we'll check. Yeah. yeah, we'll check in between the episodes. Ah, well, do forgive my presumption. It was never my wish to make you uncomfortable. It's so familiar. It's on the tip of my tongue. I don't know who I it is. I realize it's been some time since you traded in hmm. the hard sciences for the softer variety. What's What do you mean by softer variety of science? Please, feel free to return to your seat, Prime Minister. Hmm. Oh, wait. Uh, what I mean to say is, of course I can assist you. Oh, so he kind of baited him there. Hmm. Oh. <laughs> Oh, is that... Wife? Yeah, that's uh, his wife. His wife. Ah, that's the courage we've come to expect from our fearless leader. Mm -hmm. You have my thanks. Hmm. And now, without further ado, I give you my, my time, time machine. machine. All right. Mr. Hawks, would you mind just stepping inside? This is going to go bad. Oh, what's inside? It looks pretty cool, actually. Oh, there's no seat. Oh, that's kind of lame. <laughs> so what time period is he going to send them to? No clue. Maybe the future? Is yeah. that... Why doesn't he send them, like, two minutes into the future? Just so then it'll disappear, it. and then it'll be... Oh, there he is again! <laughs> Just to prove that it works. Well, you could easily uh, fake that, I guess, but... Yeah. Oh, close zoom up. There he goes. Maybe those two know each other then. <laughs> yeah. Oh, he's so suspicious. He's like freaking Professor Jeffries from uh, Scooby Doo Chill Out. Right. Yeah. They just. He looks so evil all the time. Except this guy doesn't look entirely evil, but he does look suspicious. Oh. oh. Uh oh. <laughs> uh, oh, it just exploded. Was he murdered? Oh, he, he, oh, he, doesn't, he doesn't look faced by it at all, no. <laughs> oh. oh. That caused wrong. massive damage. Major debt. We need flex tape to fix this. <laughs> flex tape clear. <laughs> Yeah. I love how he, he takes the tape and he like smacks it against something and then someone tried to do it and it didn't work at all Like they turned the shower on like <laughs> And then like half went on and then fell off This is chaos The Prime Minister and Dr. Stone Oh they both vanished, okay Wait, maybe they didn't vanish from time then Newspaper Time, time machine, machine goes awry. Right. Right. I want to see if I could see the date on that. So you think that what happened last week is somehow well, connected to this? Because the uh, stun gun was still there. Yeah, yeah he was. What if he like took the professor and vanished in the smoke? Oh, do you mean the prime minister? Oh yes, yeah. yes, the prime okay. minister. What if he took the prime minister and just he kind kinda, of vanished? What if he's like yeah, and then later he's like uh, he's like I have the prime minister, but you must do this for me or whatever. Like a ransom, maybe? Wait. Yeah. Maybe if the time machine was real, this letter is real too. Hmm. Interesting. I don't know about that, but these two elements aren't the only puzzling issues. Puzzling indeed. Tell me, Luke, have you heard about the recent disappearance? Oh, of the first game dealt with the first, disappearances yeah. too. Yeah. Are they all Three famous people? people? Oh yes, I read about. What kind of language is it written in there? That's kind of weird. 
some of London's greatest ah. scientists have been mistaken. Scientists okay, so gone missing. I feel like they're being targeted specifically. Yeah. And yeah. didn't it was maybe the, I think the Prime Minister was also? formerly a scientist. Yeah. Yeah. They seem to imply or stun gun seemed to imply that. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Maybe maybe by softer sciences he meant politics. Maybe, maybe yeah, political <laughs> science or something. Yeah. Which would make sense if he's a prime minister. Good idea. So yeah. So Interesting. Missing, missing leader. leader. Okay. Prime Minister Bill Hawkes mysteriously disappeared during the time machine demonstration. No trace of him was found, so where could he possibly be now? He's probably in the future! Yeah, probably. Should we end the episode there, you think? Oh, Continue well, it's 20 time. minutes, so yeah. yeah, I guess we will. Just brief little taste. All right, so that's the first look at Professor Layton and the unwound future. And in between episodes, I'm going to figure out who Stangun's uh, mm -hmm. voice actor is, and we'll continue looking for the Prime Minister, so we'll see you then.